A World Without Clark Kent Part 1 sees John Henry Irons, Lois Lane, and Supergirl try and stabilize Thal La, but everything they do doesn't work. John Henry knows that if they don't stabilize her soon, she could die within the stasis chamber. Supergirl thought that John's lab would be able to handle the power, but John knows that he would stake his generators against Star Labs any day of the week. But the problem isn't the gear. Suddenly, lightning shoots out of the fragment, smashing up the roof. Supergirl stops it from collapsing in on them as steel suits up as the computers explode. Steel knows that Thala is draining the generators and maybe even the power grid to the city since her Kryptonian cells are recharging themselves. Kalex knows that the life support chamber she is in is offline and if they fail to restore its power, Thala will die within moments. Supergirl tries to smash her way in but Kalex tells her the chamber is designed to withstand even the force of a Kryptonian threat. Steel demands Kalex get back as Supergirl smashes right through the containment tube, grabbing Thala as the power explodes from within her. Supergirl speaks up into the sky as Steel learns from Kellex that the life support chamber is in ruins and the Steelworks power grid is unresponsive. Steel knows that Thalar's body is in full withdrawal and her body is begging for Genesis energy but exposure to that energy caused her seizures to get worse. Lois knows that Kara knew what to do as Kara takes Thalar towards the sun since it always has been a Kryptonian's lifeline and it might buy Thalar some time while they figure out what to do. Suddenly Natasha contacts John and Lois through the fragment, telling them that she is on Warworld with Superman and the others, and she can see what they are doing. And John is right, since the Genesis is the key to saving Thalar and winning the war on Warworld, but it's also too volatile in its raw form, so they need to refine it or convert its radiation somehow. She tells them that they need to solve this together, and if they can harness the energy, not only will they save Thalar and Warworld, but everything will change. In Bell Reeve, Amanda Waller meets with Kenny Braverman, telling him it takes a while to get used to Belle Reeve as a prison, but he won't need to since Waller knows the Warden and she can get him special treatment. Kenny wants to know why she is talking with him, so Waller tells him that she knows he is dedicated to his service and he's in prison thanks to Superman. She tells him that Superman isn't around anymore and when he left Earth, he took something extremely valuable, something that she has just found again and they need a motivated individual to get it as well as someone who has experience solving Superman-like problems. Waller has her man open the case showing Kenny his conduit suit, asking him if he's the right man for the job. 